Welcome to Reflecting Light. This podcast is about feeling the world with light by exploring myth, ancient texts, scripture, great works of world literature, and the works of artists, past and present, for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. And now, here is your host, Mandy Green. Hello, welcome to Reflecting Light, this amazing beautiful Thanksgiving weekend. So many things to be grateful for. And of course, that is the subject for today's podcast. But it's been kind of a year, hasn't it? It's been quite the year. And so I was thinking of for myself, it's taken me a while to think of how I can approach Thanksgiving and gratitude in a new way, in a way that doesn't seem stale, or the same trite thing. And it came to my attention that the Hebrew term for gratitude, hakarat hatov, literally translates as recognizing the good. And I love this explanation for a couple of reasons. A, it's recognizing the good. So inherent in that claim is that there's so much good preexistent. Secondly, that seeing it and understanding it is on me. The task of recognizing is on me, not on anyone else. And so the good exists that the gods have been at work all day, all night while we sleep. They are still at work with us. And it's my job to engage with my experience and find ways to recognize the good. There's a lot of good. That doesn't mean there isn't a lot of bad. I never said that. Certainly there's some definite challenges, but recognizing the good tends to attract greater good and it tends to expand our vision. It's no secret that goodness attracts goodness and expands us, helps us feel lighter, whereas negativity tends to really contract us, at least for me. And yes, I'm speaking to myself here. So join in with me as we talk to myself. When I go through life with that contracted feeling or that feeling of wanting to protect myself, I've noticed that you're closed off to a lot of other things. The arrows are still going to hit, but if you open yourself up and let them hit, you're conscious of it. It doesn't seem to have the same sting for some reason as when I'm hoarding heart space if that's even such a thing. Interestingly enough, in Judaism, almost every prayer begins with the words, Baruch Ata Adonai Elohenu, which translates as, Blessed are you, Lord, our God. Now, this is fascinating in the sense that we often say thank you, we express gratitude, but have you ever pronounced a blessing back? If you haven't, this is a practice that would be interesting to engage with, isn't it? Blessed are you. And it puts me in a different mindset. It helps me see things through a different lens, which I appreciate. So that's something else to look at. The other fascinating thing about this is the Hebrew root for barach, which means to bless, also is the same root with the word for knee. So when you say a blessing, or when you bless someone, you're on your knees. And that's also a position of gratitude. That's also a position of humility. And in recognizing the good, I've noticed that getting on your knees is really a great practice. Now, we're decorating for Christmas. There's a lot of flocking and pine leaves and all of the joyous things that come with the Christmas season. And it's interesting if I sit on the ground or if I'm on my knees on the ground, you start to see things that get missed or you see things from a different perspective. Or you think maybe I really need to vacuum in here. Or you think, wow, that looks so cool from down here. Or laying under a tree. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite things Blessed are the Christmas trees, for they will bring joy. Laying under a tree and looking up through it. 
There's something about this shift in perspective that helps us recognize things in different ways. So in blessing, I'm mentally putting myself on my knees or I'm literally getting on my knees. And if you need to recognize the good, may I recommend you get on your knees, become submissive, become gentle, and look at the world, look at your life, look at your situation from a different perspective. And perhaps this will give you greater opportunity to bless the Elohim for all of the goodness that is poured into our lives. The musical band U2 says, if you want to touch the sky, better learn how to kneel on your knees, boys. Granted, it's a little out of context, but you know, art is in the eye of the beholder. So we're just going to run with it. That's the message. Get outside, touch the sky, get on your knees, play with a child, do something that reminds you of the beauty of simple things. That's the other context of knees for me is is a lowness, but not a negative one, a voluntary lowness that invites, that sits with. If you play with a child, you're on your knees and you're on your belly and you're engaged. And if you don't have anyone to play with, get down from their perspective. See what they would see and find joy and beauty in it and bless the Elohim for the many, many gifts that are ours to learn, to expand, to grow, to forgive, to repent, to feel love, even with its burning, aching, horrific stings to feel is a very magnificent thing. Christmas trees, people, people that we like perhaps, but all the people, everything's instructive, isn't it? Just so many things that we can look at and recognize the good. I recognize the good that you bring to my life. I probably don't know most of you, but something makes me think about this podcast all week. Something makes me record it and send it out. And I'm grateful for the good that I recognize in you in this endeavor, in all of the light that we cumulatively and in community are able to bless our world with. Your light matters. And I mean that light in a very tangible sense matters. And as we're able to pour light into this world, especially in these seasons of greater darkness, it's going to make a difference. So I'm thankful for you. I bless you. I bless the Elohim for the amazing opportunities and the amazing gift that mortality is. This isn't everything, my friends. I swear to you, this is not everything. And when I have very difficult times, if I can draw my perspective back from this moment, be in the moment, but recognize it's part of something greater. It's part of greater purpose. It's part of greater design. And at some point I will see that stitcher's hand and I will bless it. Wishing you all love and light. Thank you for joining us for Reflecting Light with Mandy Green. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave a good rating and share it with your friends. And remember, your light makes the world a brighter place. Share it.